planning code. So that is very important because we are doing a planning exercise. But the connection code is also necessary because in initially if the connection is acceptable, application is accepted, then you should perform a grid impact study. So these grid impact studies are comes under the connection code and also that are related to planning as well. So we should have an idea about all these things. So all of you are requested to read this. These uh, pages page number from 24 to 58 and you should. If you have any question, then we will discuss in the next class regarding connection code. OK, the last. OK, the last one is the in this uh, uh, lecture is the PSC interface quick overview that we will discuss the detailed analysis of sample two case because the, a lot of uh, confusion is uh, there regarding modeling of generator, modeling of load, modeling of transformer, capacitor, switch and transmission line, HVDC line and the PSSC reports and PSS interface. So in PSSC, today's is a, a very comprehensive lecture on the PSSC interface. So that in the next lecture, we will directly move to, uh, towards the power flow analysis techniques and PV QV curve analysis that is static stability analysis and the contingency analysis. So definitely in the next week, we will finish these analysis because we have to cover all the course also. OK, I'm opening the case like sim uh, simulation case sample lecture three, the same case. And the single line diagram. Yes, now uh, from here, I mean uh, first point in the case is that just right click on the toolbar. See that all these are checks. If all these are checked, you can find all information here. The first important thing is. So I uh, so I'm doing all these things slow and uh, slow. I mean. In the slow motion, so you can uh, mean absorb these things easily. So the first thing is that at least you should have all inter tools bar are available at the user interface open in all. So first step, once you open a case, so what we have to do, I mean what the step first process is that initially the first process is that look at the summary of your case. I mean how you can see the summary of your case and there are two different methods. The first one is that simply click on this scale button. This comes under the network topologies and simply scale button and also these things are available here also. I can show you check I know power flow list check data. OK, you can find here, but the option is a scale. The first in, one is a scale in, uh, in power flow changing, I think. Uh, yes, I think so. Yes. So this one, the scale generation load and shunt. OK, so simply click on this and all buses must be selected. Click on go. Now you can see. How much load is available of your case? So total case demand is 3200 megawatt. So nearly the demand nearly to to mean so darn demand, right? And next is generation is 2758. So generation is uh, is basically is less than the demand. So how you can is a predict from this that is this case is correct mean the case will be solved correctly or not. And similarly the reactors are given uh, are installed in the case 600 mag oh, megawatt and capacitor are also installed up 950 megawatt and the total load is 3200 megawatt and the generation is 2758 megawatt. So it means generation is less than the demand. OK. Now we will see. Here in 
next thing is the a area on owner zone report that is available in area on zone reports in reports area owner zone reports the a the and again the report should be selected all all areas is selected and click on go now this uh, basically the output bar here now all areas information is here now you see there are total load is 3200 megawatt and the generation is 2758 megawatt and all areas are selected okay now see the swing bus summary so uh, so solve uh, go to power flow solution and solve it check flat start and mostly we do newton robson because it take less time to solve a uh, converge our case solve it and then uncheck it then okay why now here you can see the it's reached in tolerance in 12 iteration now you uncheck now you will see it will reach in one iteration so this is the advantage of the uh, flat start so initially you have checked flat start so flat start what it, it basically it takes the vector point from one angle zero to the actual values now after next solution I mean it will take it will perform another iterations so 11 iterations are performed within a second then system reach and tolerance in first iteration so now you can see that case is solved and the swing is that 766 megawatt now anyone can tell me i mean the thing is that the load was greater than the demand basically the generator so another demand is fed by the inter areas basically that the area has different demand and different multi basically the load sharing here you can see the details okay we will see those details later so first thing is that if you are interested in to see the summary of your network summary of your case simply go to the power flow changing okay and see the scale generation load shunt and okay and similarly no okay no important point now can you see here initially the load generation was less than the load now swing has compensated that generation so I mean swing has capability to balance that generation now you can see is everything is clear because initially the demand generation was less so the extra generation is compensated by the swing bus so in it mean in real in a real scenario that generation is done by a, a, a standby generator okay so this is a basically a, a, a solution it is mean you you cannot solve your case by having a generation less than the load you need to curtail that load in order to solve the gen, so your case correctly however if, if if there is a little bit mismatch that mismatch will be taken by the swing bus so uh, this is uh, clear to all of you so there are two button we have discussed the first one the scale generation and next is the area owner zone now generate a area owner zone reports now you will see generation load is, generation is this and load is this now I, i'm explaining this uh, report also here you can see that this is a basically generation and forget this is not a value 115 uh, this the, the, these values are the losses of, i mean not only you have to read these values the first row i mean this area has 1200 megawatt generation and 1200 load no shunt in this area no devices no tie line nothing losses are here yes it's exporting 17 megawatt from the another side okay and the two tie loads mean the load that is connected to his i uh, mean the the area that is connected it has area so the desired net interchange is 250 I mean 250 megawatt is interchanging between th these two any area so it is it may be one to two or one to five we will see so in this way you can read the report also I mean you uh, you will not see the, the this row basically the, the second row you will only focus on this and this thing this one the upper low okay so the, in, in such in this in such a way you can look at the case summary okay next point is that is the uh, power flow solutions and the sol 
there are different uh, of solution option available. We will discuss in the next uh, class also the power flow solution techniques. So then we will discuss detail why we do a, uh, an a tap adjustment lock tap. So, so initially we have uh, used the tap lock step, but we can use the stepping also. In stepping that will uh, we have to provide the value. So, so automatically this uh, mean the uh, transformer use this stepping. And similar the switch and adjustment we have enabled us. So switch and will be automatically provide their reactive power based on the requirement of the system. And area interchange control is disabled. So we are not discussing and war limit is apply automatically. So mean automatically war limits. If you will ignore, then it will no, give you a no errors. You can I mean uh, solve your case without any uh, constraints. So but these are the different uh, mean parameters. So we will discuss uh, each importance of lock taps up to which value we can lock stepping direct. So we will discuss the uh, in the power flow solution techniques. So initially we are discussing the power uh, power system software interface. So you have seen the summary of your case. OK, that's good. So next thing is that in the case is the. I think that yes, in, in the diagram. In the property and the basically. I mean, these are the drag diagram options. You can change these option as per your demand and you can vary the font of your diagram. Like if I can change regular to 10, so font size will be increased. You can see clearly. And next is the in the diagram annotation. So what value, what quantities you are uh, looking at these values like magnitude per unit, KV and megawatt, megawatt flows. And similar diagram range checking, all these ranges are available here. So you can set by uh, you can customize uh, your ranges here by simply clicking on the color. OK, next thing is that. In the diagram system level default, so you can define your system default levels and you can define bus annotation number names, equipment annotations here. And also you can see per CN of your results. If I'm interested in powerful up to two decimal, so simply increase this per CN. So you will see now solve it up to two decimal. The results are available. And similarly in the diagram, there are different options available like graphic. Basically G generate graphical power flow of bus display that we called as G out and you can contour your network also. But we do contouring on operational level or uh, as a system operator we can do or as at a student level. If, but mostly uh, yes, this is a uh, basically a hint that we can see in the arrangements. OK, next thing is that in the diagram. Yes, all these things are uh, uh, are uh, yes, the, the most important is bind items. So if if the if on the diagram, if right click on the, if, if the bind atom is clicked, it means that the component that you will place on the diagram that will be saved in your case. If somehow your this option is unchecked, then you uh, and you have placed a component inside the diagram, it will show as a pink. So once you uh, open your case again. And next thing is that power flow. So first option is power flow solution and next in changing explore these buttons split bus. So we will see and next important point reports. So coming back to reports. So in the report section, the point is limit checking reports. So there are a lot of reports available. So we will see now we, we will see explore these one by one. So once the first thing is that branches. If we see the loading of branches, so which branch is overloaded in our complete whole case simply against your rate A or rate B, rate C. So initially on a steady state, we see against rate A and the loading limit is 100. So we, we should make it 100 and select all buses and click on go. Here the rate 2 will be uh, report will be here. So it's the result is that the line from 153 bus number to uh, to 154 bus number like this is a area 1 to 30 kV line is overloaded. So it's a rating is 300 and loading is 308 uh, basically 8 MVA. And the overall percentage loading is 102. It means it's 
2% overloaded. This line is overloaded. So we need to see here. You can see this line. And we can. Yeah. So this is 102.9 like 103. So I, I already told you that how to uh, make a mean. Uh, mean provide a solution to this line. Either we can parallel uh, add uh, either we can shift our load. We can shift this load to another bus. We can or either we can curtail this load like we are curtailing this load to 550 megawatt. So you will see this loading will be. Now this loading is reduced, but the it means that the line is reactively loaded. So it means you need to provide the compensation at load and also. So we will discuss this why. Uh, however, uh, the uh, most important point we cannot change values like this, like I'm changing now. OK, so we need to solve our case again. And now you can see that the it, again it's showing that uh, this color because we have added the 90 I mean the maximum overloading is 90. OK, coming back to the branch report, you can generate branch report in in this way. And next is the generator bus. So this report is very important in order to calculate the spinning reserve of your network. That is very important from the uh, from the uh, steady state and as well as dynamic point of view. So how you can calculate the spinning reserve of a system? Initially, if you are providing a, I mean, a, a meeting a demand of your system, like if your demand is 1000 megawatt and your plant is, uh, are running are, are 1200 megawatt. So mean you are you have a 200 megawatt spinning zone. How you will see? So basically a contribution from each each generator is uh, mean every generator have access generation available. They can provide in case of any contingency. So in PSS you can calculate spinning is But so the war limit I mean uh, the point is that in generator. This is the point. You can also war limit plants with unequal war limits, all war limits plants. So oh, I am looking at the online plants. I mean, which plants are working? Online plants. Remember, online plants. And the uh, it should be in per unit and the all bases click on go. Here the gen summary is available. So here you can see the bus nuclear A. OK, have a base on a base KV. 21.6 is on and type 2 the megawatt it's supplying 600 megawatt and megawatt supplying it's 45 megawatt and the range of this megawatt q max and q minimum is 600 and minus 100 and the most important thing in the schedule voltage at this schedule voltage and actual voltage are also th this value so at this schedule voltage it's providing 45 megawatt to the system and the M base of this generator this and this available in 77 zone area one and swing. Yes, in this area. And similarly, one or two, the nuclear power plant, another power plant has a capacity of 600 megawatt. This so mean in this way, all generation sum up to this megawatt. So mean system megawatt is 32 uh, megawatt and generation is this and Q max this range and the M base is this. So mean this much M base and this much system generation is added in the system. So in this way you can see the online plant summary because sometime in 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 your case like in if, if you are looking at the case here. When you will see maybe that there there are the plants with the different code like code uh, code number four because mostly uh, code with four are available. So before the four means switch off, but looking from the LC report, it will give you the only online plants that are producing the actual megawatts. So actual megawatt that are give, uh, add, 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 adding in the system, you can see from here. And next report uh, again, sorry, next report is. Is the out of limit pass voltage report, so you can generate different. I uh, mean area voltage like I'm interested in the all buses and I, I'm looking at the one I mean I, I, I don't want the voltage less than one per unit. Click on go. You will see all these voltage are having a these buses having a voltage greater than one. So the in in such a way you can see the uh, I mean the history of your case that which area is the under limit, which area is over voltage. So you can then provide a compensation in such a way. 
Okay, next thing is regarding this is the generator bus is done reactive capability curve. So this is a very important. If we will uh, discuss, I, I have a webinar on this also. I had, I had. So this this lecture is available on my YouTube channel. I mean how to generate the reactive capability. So we what we do, we we basically provide a a curve, basically this curve that machine capability data that GCP file. So we make a GCP file and provide to the each, each generator so we can set a limit to that generator also. Initially, um, I mean we are, we have given Q max and Q minimum. That's also way, but we can provide rather than providing a Q max Q minimum. We provide the range of the capability curve of mean. So the generator will change its Q depending on, on the power factor to make MVA constants. So I already I think I have discussed uh, with you this plan, this capability curve. Yes, so mean uh, every generator mean will provide mean if we are getting megawatt of this much megawatt. So against this much megawatt mean up to this this reactive power basically supported by thus uh, this generator. So if we are increasing this, so this Definitely the uh, from here you can see that if the uh, uh, megawatt produced by the generator is increasing, then its capability to produce reactive power will be reduced. See why it will be reduced because it, the generator MV is constant. Okay, in, in such a way, uh, basically the generator uh, uh, control the uh, basically the uh, its value because but make uh, generator always remain within the MV limit. So here this is a region. That is the over exciting that is under exciting. So over exciting region is the basically heating region and the under exciting is the loss of synchronism. So end part of heat limit here. So I mean this is the basically working region this boundary. So in this way basically we provide the different points of P and Q in, inside the PSSE and then we can uh, mean fix our plan to to within this capability cars. However, we, 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 uh, we don't do this exercise and we don't make complex uh, case. We just provide the uh, uh, data in the generator tool and generator dialog box by looking at the capability card. OK, next regulating bus. You can call no option. Basically all buses that are basically with the uh, code number two at the regulated all every information will be achieved like the actual voltage and the per uh, KV. So all buses are the generator bus are considered the regulator bus. So in LC you can see. OK, all uh, other machine terminal, so uh, all online machine overload machines you can find. And next is the OK, all voltage limits uh, mean check only. You can check the normal uh, voltage limits as well as the emergency voltage limits, but uh, we if we have done this limit check, then no need to perform this check. OK, next is the AZ. This is the area owner zone Thailand. So this is the same summary. And next important thing, the bus based reports that I have already discussed yesterday. OK, the all network. So here you can see the information regarding each bus at on each bus. So I think we should uh, make uncheck this wide. OK. So on all buses you will get the summary, so I think we should select the one bus only. Otherwise there will be a lot of information. Now here on this bus, this is bus number 50, 151 and the bus name is nuclear plant and the voltage level is this 500 kV and this is a circuit one. And the megawatt at this circuit is provided supplied by this generator 600 megawatt and megawatt is this six and the losses is this 1.0 and the megawatt is this. So in this way you can uh, generate the only bus bar summary also because in when you are uh, studying the bus bar capacity of uh, being bus bar augmentation study. So you, uh, you need uh, information regarding the system currents I mean how much currents are entering in at this bus bar is this bus bar is overloaded or not. So in this way you can calculate the uh, bus uh, mean the contribution of all currents from the all grid station from all line base towards that bus bar. So in, in from looking at this. 
Okay, this is a data check uh, list of data. It will simply list of data. It will connect. Now coming back to the components after the report and then analysis. Okay, now coming back to the components. Uh, starting from the generator, the first generator. This is generator. Now looking at the generator, you you have seen that there are two tabs. First is a power flow tab, and other is a short circuit tab, and then. Under the power flow tab, there is a basic data, then machine data, and then transformer data, and then owner data, and then wind data and plant data. So there are different tabs available inside this dialog box. So basic data means the bus number, bus name, bus annotation like this. And machine data that is specific to the nameplate of your generator. So if you have a nameplate data available, simply looking at the nameplate, you can add these information here. Or you have a generator capability curve, you can uh, mean uh, get those values from the generator capability curve and put it here. Next important thing is the transformer data. So what is meant by this transformer data? Like if you are doing exercise, uh, 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 why where X trans is available? Why why put? So looking looking at this uh, connection. So there are two types of modeling that we do. So one is the explicit modeling and one is a implicit modeling. Like if this is a bus. And this generator is installed of uh, any thermal generator. So next is a gener GSU generator step unit transformer. OK, and after this, then you have a step up transformer. Then this is a, uh, basically LV and then is this is a HV. OK, now the mean if 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 this in, in this way, the generator is modeled. So it means this is a, a basically explicit way. I mean you have added uh, added transformer and some sometime the NPSSE would directly model generator on HV level rather than an LV. So that is called the implicit modeling that is explicit. OK. And this is implicit modeling. So implicit model what we have done that we have uh, not we have not modeled any transformer. So for this purpose we need to add X trans value here. Here you will see. I mean if you have modeled on the uh, on this value, but here the, here you have seen that there is no modeling on the uh, X implicit. So it is by you. If, if this generator is modeled directly on this bus, then we need to provide that value X trans otherwise not. So I think the generator data is clear. If anyone have a confusion regarding power flow data, we can see yes. The wind data I mean the wind data is only for a, a renewable machine. I mean if you are. I think anyone um, mic is unmuted. You should mute your mic. Yes, now it's fine. OK, this wind is initially in PS30 that is known as wind data, but in PS34 and 35 it is written as a renewable data that is used for the solar as well as wind. So for a solar machine, we use the code different code based on the type of machine we model. And next the short circuit data. So in short circuit data, we provide a uh, zero sequence sequences parameter like positive sequence resistance, sub transient then because this for, for generator negative sequence and synchronous. So here you can see that the positive negative zero sequence are the same and if there any grounding are that you can add but not. OK, next thing in the in this case is the transformer. So in the in the transformer again, there is a line data I mean which this transformer has added between two buses from bus and two bus. And these meeting from and these need to be checked. Otherwise it will. OK, next thing is is the input output data. This tab is very important. Input output the winding IO code and the winding impedance. So all these are the turn ratio base KV and basically on the IZ and yani impedance code on the winding KV system MVA and for the admittance system base. So these things are clear. Only we need to provide this X value and this R value and if there is a, a, a conductance, but we'll mostly we assume this value zero. So X value and R value and next is the rate A and rate B and rate C. We provide these values like R, X, rate A, rate B and rate C. And then we calculate the transformer nominal rating data from this tab winding one. 
we can use this make make by changing the tab of this position like uh, above 13 tab below 13 tab by the percentage of 6 uh, 0.625% so we can change this tab i will share that that sheet also with you and i will discuss in detail in the, when we see the stepping model uh, a stepping solution in inside the power flow solution technique and similarly the owner data and the control data if you are add using making a part uh, on load tab changers are different control available if the because the transformer regulate megawatt megawatt and, and maintain the voltage so we can set a control here also okay using this uh, method and similar these short circuit methods so we need to add the connection code yes connection code is very important I mean if, if if the transformer is added at a transmission level like uh, as a switching station so we add code number eight here but if you if if it is added at a generating side then we add code number two if it is at a load side we, we add a code number three no series path and ground winding too so you should uh, look at the code in the pssc manual so pssc manuals are available in the installed directory path go to docs folder in the and you will see the program application guide volume one program application guide volume two prog program operational manual and the models so you can see those in the information regarding this okay next is a bus substation value so for substation we need to provide this only bus name and the bus code and the bus voltage and also we can set the voltage also okay next important thing is the load only the load value is which put the p load and q and we uh, check uncheck this scalable or unscalable so um, by making use of these value we can fix because somehow uh, uh, this it means this scalable when i will uh, i it means that i can i can scale load from here differently uh, if i will change the load here at increase 100 megawatt so automatically all grid will be uh, load will be changed because here scalable is checked but if you are not, if it's industrial industrial load, we don't want to scale this load, so we need to uncheck this. So in such a way, short circuit, we, we don't provide the P negative and Q negative in the for a load. Yes, if load is uh, as a not a static load or impedance, different modeling of load, zip load, then we will use this. Okay, next is the transmission line. Okay, in sorry. Okay, it means it's double clicking on the line. <laughs> yes, in the transmission line, we provide R, X, B, and then rate A, rate B, rate C, and length here. Okay, and then short circuit values R0, X0, and B0 inside. And if there is any MOV protection enabled, so we, that's for the uh, basically protection and re reliability analysis that is mentioned that basically not available in PSA 33. So in 34, this is available. Here is the you can use this breaker as a switch. If you will see breaker, then the impedance will be zero. Then simply branch here. You can change. And similarly, next thing inside this, yes, this is a reactor. Here in reactor, you can see simply how you model a reactor. This is a shunt reactor. Make remember if you are modeling a series reactor, then you can add here in the line. Mean sorry, this is a bus reactor. Sorry, this is a bus reactor basically. And it also there is a line reactor which is uh, installed at a line. So that is a line reactor. So this is a bus reactor. It is installed at bus, but line reactor is installed. All that are also installed on a line but in parallel I mean like how, how how on a line will it be installed you can see if this is a bus and this is a line between two buses so one reactor is installed at this line here and on a line I means somehow you can make it bus reactor also if bus reactor is this I mean bus all, all are, are installed at in parallel with the line as well as with bus so this is called bus reactor and this is called line shunt reactors. So how we add in PSSC? So basically in PSSC we are adding a line reactor. So from from line B to line B like this. I mean we have added. Sorry. Here this is a from reactors and this is a uh, uh, two reactors and this is a bus reactor. So bus reactor is different from the line reactors. So this this reactor was bus reactors. Okay. 
and here you can see simply capacitor with the negative value will become a reactor and similarly you can use the uh, reactor uh, filter also by making use of switch and negative values I mean if we, he, here is a, a capacitor so this is a capacitor so next thing uh, inside this is a yes generator is a model load is done everything is done so no other thing is modeling here so i think generator capacitors is available next thing is that area one to two is this so that's very important here is a summation uh, uh, Tahir? yes yes uh, i have a question how how can we model a series capacitor okay uh, in this in pssc what we do uh, basically uh, in this way i i can show you in on us first this if if this is a line inside this uh, between between two, uh, two buses. So basically the methodology of series capacitor is that this is a uh, XL and then we add series XC. OK, basically this. So uh, basically this XC has some values which is negative to XL. OK, why we add XC? Because in order to increase the transfer capability of line XL minus XC overall reactance will be reduced. So what we do in in our in our PSSE, we divide our line into two uh, two nodes like here. We tap this line, okay? We tap this line and we make two nodes like this node up to this line one reactance, up to this line one reactance, okay? Now in mid, in in between this this we add another line. Sorry, uh, from this node. We make this node and we make a dummy node. I mean, uh, I'm adding in PSSE. Then we add a, again new line with negative X, basically. Okay. So in in such a way, this is called fixed compensation, basically. Uh, but in series compensation, like this, this is a line. So what I will do, I will add a node bus here, and then okay, any bus, and then I will add any. Uh, yes, I need to provide this. Uh, uh, base KV. This this is a 500 KV. Okay, this should be 500 KV. Okay, this is a 500 KV. Now, so what I will do? I will copy this line. Then I will place between these two buses. Okay, and then I will copy this line. I will place between these two buses. Now I will switch off this line because this line is no more. Now I will add between these two line. OK. Here. Now I will add this X by minus like 0 0.002. This is a XC that is percentage compensation. I mean how much negative as added. Now remember make this X should be the this. All these parameter will be this by two because line is tapped. So this X will be reduced by half it will this this all these value will be half these value will be half and this now the, the line capacity will be increased okay the, uh, is this clear yes yes uh, what uh, if the capacitor uh, series capacitor is added uh, next to the bus yes uh, so it then, means here uh, where? here right no, 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 no. no, no, the series capacitor. Yes, is adjacent to bus. If it is adjacent to bus, then we'll make. How how we can model this? Uh, I think I'm not clear about your question. I first I think. Is uh, uh, you I'm can think uh, that okay. normally uh, normally the series. Okay, uh, okay. Normally, the series capacitors are connected at substation. Normally, yes, exactly, exactly. But you have exactly. modeled, you have modeled XC in the middle of the line. This, yes, exactly, exactly. The, this is a just representation. Okay, basically, in practical, we add from the grid, like it's it's it is a here and near the within the grid substation capacitor bank is add, but the path is line is tap series. Okay. Yes, this exactly. This is only representation, but in PSSC another way is also uh, because I was answering related to PSSC. And one thing is modeling. Just if we are saying that the line is two percent compensated, so what we do? Only we reduce that x by two. Okay, I mean the x simply yes. re reduce this x value. No need to add capacitor. Reduce this x value by two percent. 
mm-hmm. okay so definitely the flow okay. will be increased so these are two different method but to make uh, realistic as much as possible we do this exercise in pssc okay but when we uh, mm-hmm. model a uh, 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 TCSC is not uh, the part of our course. However, I have a research paper on this TCSC. So this is uh, published in the journal. So I will share with my research paper. So that is a modeling of thyristor controlled series capacitor in PSSC using Fortran. Okay. So you will see the all detail uh, regarding the series composition there. I will share after fine. the class. Okay. Fine. Okay. Next are the related only the. HVDC is remaining, so if anyone have a question, I think uh, ask. Then we will uh, finish this, uh, and uh, we have a, 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 a mean more detailed things is coming f- in from the next week uh, on the basically contingency analysis, power flow analysis, and PV QV curve analysis. So we will finish these three large uh, topic. The static stability we call this PV QV curve that tells us about the reactive power and real power reserve margin on the different buses and contingency we will do the automatic contingency acc okay so if uh, anyone have a question please ask and uh, then okay uh, my question is about uh, reactor we have three type bus reactor line reactor and series reactor yes exactly exactly uh, 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 one minute I, i i have to yes now tell me we have bus reactor yes basically and on the bu- on bus yes and line Next. reactor yes on line reactor that is also in the shunt make a remember yes and series reactor yes on series reactor that are increase the loading of a line basically power to transfer. reduce okay. the now the- every have different advantage every yes has. Oh, okay. Should I explain? Uh, no, it's, I think it's clear. Uh, my question is about there is no difference between number one and number two. No, no, there is a difference between yes. Uh, on from operation point, if the if the reactor is installed at this uh, sorry at this line, so for the energization of line, this reactor is has has a different impacts, and if after energization line is closed, then this same used as a bus reactor. Okay. from the yes, operational yes, point yes. of view when you are energizing a line then this reactor is required to reduce the open end voltage is like switching voltage once the line is closed the, yes then this this is no more a, a line reactor this become a bus reactor has the same impact to reduce the receiving end voltage but it has different impacts because remember sometime reactors are installed to uh, basically a uh, Uh, absorb the front fir- uh, effects open end volt but sometime reactor is installed to absorb the switching of line when you do a energization and closing of a line okay so there are different perspective of both reactors and here the third reactor is added to reduce the fault current of a uh, I mean from this line because somehow the breaker at installed at lower rating we cannot increase the rating of this breaker so whenever fault occur at this bus then the fault uh, coming from through this line is half more so we need to reduce this fault by compromising the voltage simply adding a reactor okay okay i have more questions yes yes sure. uh, about, uh, if you have a uh, clue about the cost of series compensation Yes, yes. We hear it's uh, it's very expensive. If we want yes, to it's, add, yes, it's uh, very expensive. Basically, uh, it's very expensive. If the uh, it's only accept uh, basically acceptable and it's feasible, where the there is no more uh, uh, right of way available, congestion is at a high, and moreover the stability issue. Other than the transfer capability of a line, series capacitor proposed. Uh, I mean, uh, support another uh, uh, advantage is also like the transient stability because it reduces the angular separation between two lines. Okay, and it support the uh, sta- from the stability point of. Yes, cost is high, but we, we from the reliability perspective, it is important to add, but uh, only in the congested areas. Only M- more where than you cannot. More- more than building new line or replacing conductor 
yes 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 I mean where you cannot uh, build new line and where you cannot uh, uh, replace conductor I mean it will take because like like in pakistan there is a one line uh, of a 300 kilometer so you cannot take a, a shut down of 300 kilometer line okay yes and long, so for long, that long purpose, time for outage yes long term uh, outages is, uh, will uh, will up, will be a problem so for that purpose what will you will only uh, you need to transfer increase the transfer capability at the uh, series composition like mostly the series composition is allowable up to 30 to 40 percent you cannot go more 30 40 percent simple otherwise you can build a new line for 40 percent yes maximum the compensation uh, 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 i have seen is 40 percent mean the x reduced by 40 percent original x now the transfer capability is it, it increases okay 